Okay, hey you guys, today I am with Jian Li. I don't know if you know, but her middle name is actually Uga. You guys can put that together yourself. Today we're making a video on Ugali. She... I'll let Jian Li explain why she knows how to make Ugali. Um, well I grew up here, so Ugali is a staple food of Kenya. You can't live here without eating Ugali. What you need for Ugali, super complex. If you don't have all of these ingredients, you can't make ugali. Water, maize meal, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, we're gonna make beef stew today. Keep it simple, keep it basic, keep it good. Okay, so for the beef stew, we're gonna have some ginger and garlic for the meat, and then we're gonna have carrots, potatoes, onions, that's it. Maybe some spices to put in there. And then for the ugali, water and maize meal. <laughs> Unga. Now I'm gonna get to the good stuff. The ginger and the garlic. I'm gonna mince it up and then we're gonna boil the meat. Okay, so now we're gonna put this and this and this all together in a pot and then we're gonna boil it for about half an hour. So you're putting the ginger and garlic in here so that you can get rid of the smell. <laughs> Sometimes meat isn't the freshest, so this is gonna get all the flavors embedded into the meat. I know people sometimes like their meat really tough, but I like my meat tender. So I do it for about half an hour. So staples. Really, if you have nothing, this is what you need to cook a Kenyan meal. <laughs> if you have nothing, nothing. Or even just a kuma and onion. <laughs> also, Cohen's joined us now. She's peeling vegetables. Because we, we don't, don't have, have a vegetable peeler. peeler. No vegetable <laughs> peeler. Fork. So a little tip for people that don't have vegetable peelers. You can use a fork. 20 years later, I peeled half a potato. We used to cook together when we were young. We'd always be like, Amma, Kona me hit me! Because <laughs> these onions are so freaking spicy. <sighs> I fixed it. <laughs> okay, so I obviously don't really wear goggles. Okay, um, we're gonna cut up the vegetables that Ko just peeled and then we're gonna boil those up. But first, I'm gonna stir fry the meat. So you want to save all of this good stuff because this is going to become your broth. You don't have to buy broth in a carton at a store. This is how you make broth. <laughs> Can you smell it? No, you can't. You need to tulia buana. Tulia. Ooh yeah. The best part. Can you smell it? You still can't smell it. I feel so bad for you. was too small for our appetite. <laughs> it might overflow. Okay. Oh, it's about to overflow. We're just gonna let this sit. Um, should we make the ugali now? Today we got jogo. 
but there was also pembe and all these other sorts of unga. So for all you Kenyans out there, what's the best unga to use? I'd actually really love to hear it. <laughs> Leave a comment below. <laughs> all right, so here's what we have to work with at the Airbnb. For obvious reasons, this is gonna be a challenge, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna choose this one, because it's flatter. Tip, wait until it gets boiling hot. Don't do it when it's lukewarm, because it's not gonna be as good. You just want it to be bubbling. My sufria would be here so that I can really mix it between my legs, but we're gonna try it on the stove top here. So to not make it lumpy, what I like to do is I don't like to get it too hard too fast. I like to get it mixed to like a soft consistency and then if I can add more, that's when I'll add more unga. But I think I made a pretty good guess because look at it. One thing I like to do is to build it up on the sides because then you get really nice murtet. By the way, I don't know what it's called in Kiswahili and nobody has ever told me what it is in Kiswahili. Everybody always just tells me what it is in their mother tongue. So if any of you know what it's called, I really actually want to know. I just call it ugali chips. But in Kalenjin, kipsigis, it's mortet. Now we're gonna slice it up with some stew and let's see if Justin likes it. Okay, we have done it. Or Jin has done it mainly and Cohen peeled some potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at peeling potatoes. So we're now gonna eat the ugali. Do you wanna explain a little bit how you eat it? Oh yeah. Well, you're gonna use your hands. You wanna take a little bit. You know somebody who knows how to eat ugali based on if they're gonna play with their ugali like Play-Doh. <laughs> All right, pick some of it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. If I may say so myself. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> this is my first time eating ugali in Kenya. So I'm gonna go for it now, I'm gonna try. Squeeze it. Yes, I'll do it with your... <laughs> yeah. And then, got it in here. This is it. This is the moment. I don't know how good it's gonna be. I hope it's amazing. Bass drop. I hope he likes it. Mm. 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 <laughs> so dramatic. It's good, right? It's really thick. Well, I mean, just like, I feel like Ugali in general is pretty thick. It's hard to get the you take quite a bit. It's good. I mean, this is really good. The ugali definitely has, you know, kind of a porridge taste, I guess. Consistency? I don't know. I mean, it tastes like I'm eating plain rice or plain bread or plain porridge. <laughs> but it is nice. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun to eat. No, no, no. It's really good, actually. <laughs> I actually really like it. <laughs> it's super yum. Good job. All right, so we're going to enjoy it now. We're gonna eat some of this. I think I need more ugali. Yeah. Have some more. I gave you like a kid's portion. No, this is just so good. What is the best ugali you've ever had? I don't actually like white ugali. Sorry, that's why I'm asking for the best brand. Um, but when it's just ground, straight from maize, I love it. And it's gotta be cooked over a fire, a stove, a fire. 
you need real kuni. If you use gas, it just doesn't taste the same. Should have built a fire. Mmm. <laughs> I feel stronger already. Is this the best Ugali? That's have? Ugali power. <laughs> I'm getting a little full. Lots I'm gonna eat all that. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, let us know what other kind of Kenyan food we should try. This is legit probably the most Kenyan food I've ever eaten in my life. So thank you again, Jian, for making this. And yeah, thank you guys for eating it. Cohen, thanks for eating it with us. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and feeling the potatoes. The potatoes are the best part. <laughs> the potatoes are delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Okay.